Take three musicians from three diverse genres. The late Martin Bennett, a gifted piper, violinist, composer and producer whose music will be performed as a highlight of the Celtic Connections Festival's 25th anniversary in Glasgow next January. Helen Grime, currently composer in residence at London's Wigmore Hall, whose orchestral piece Catiline in Winter, inspired by the paintings of Joe Nerdley, was recently premiered at the Royal Albert Hall and Tommy Smith, the internationally renowned jazz saxophonist, composer and educator, whose recent John Coltrane tribute album, Embodying the Light, has been rapturously received. What common ground links these highly successful but diverse artists all three are former pupils of the City of Edinburgh Music School COEMS, one of Scotland's four centres of excellence for non-fee-paying music education, which is now threatened with closure by the City of Edinburgh Council in a bid to save some £363,000 from its education budget. Writing as both a music columnist with this newspaper and the parent of a former pupil, harpist Maeve Gilchrist, who has gone on to forge a highly successful career in music in the United States, I find it disheartening to see, yet again, music education being targeted as part of budget cuts in Scotland's supposedly cultured capital. The council plans to replace COEMS by rolling out what it calls a city-wide equity and excellence music service. While music education should be available for all as a vital matter of course, this sounds suspiciously like papering over the cracks left as a music school of international standing goes by the board. Based at Edinburgh's Flora Stevenson Primary and the neighbouring Broughton High School, this specialist music unit creates a unique environment which nurtures talented young musicians while grounding them in a mainstream school education. Genre barriers are not a consideration other alumni have included Shirley Manson, singer with the rock band Garbage, the fated young classical guitarist Morgan Zimanski and the US-based Scots singer and fiddler Hannah Reed, a member of the award-winning Songs of Separation Folk Collective. COEMS is no ordinary school. Ordinary schools don't enjoy the patronage of such musical eminences as the conductor Sir Simon Rattle, who is a champion, incidentally, of Helen Grimes' music. On visits, either for routine parent-teacher meetings or for concerts or recitals, I personally found it possibly the most vibrant educational establishment I know. The council's planned closure of the school and rollout of music education would not just dissipate, rather than roll out resources, it would burst the magic bubble of the school's particular environment and ambience, with its intense one-tune tuition combined with the essential process of collaborative music-making. Last year the council proposed a 75 per cut in free music tuition in schools, only to perform an about turn in the face of massive petitioning, supported by the likes of violinist Nicola Benedetti, Manson and Smith. Let's hope that a similar degree of protest will avert this latest misguided ploy. As funding for COEMS comes partly from the Scottish Government, parents of pupils and ex-pupils will doubtless be writing furiously to their MSPs as well as their councillors in anticipation of the next council budget meeting on 7 November. Music is a fundamental element in any civilised society, its potentially transformative power cannot be underestimated. Yet it is all too often targeted as a conveniently disposable educational strand at a time of financial stringency. The council badly needs to change its tune.